back with another one-on-one -on -one video and here with my friend Lindsay Albanese. How are you? Good. Thank you. Welcome to my style I, studio. I love being here. <laughs> this is the coolest place. She has a studio and it's it's shoes, it's clothes, it's just racks of all this fun girly stuff so it's really fun. And the best thing is is it is in the same apartment building as where I live. So. It's so convenient. <laughs> it I is. love that. I'm so it jealous is. of you. Um, let's get right into it. Lindsay has been an inspiration to me for so long. I've worked with her back in my days at E. She was a style expert for me and now we're just friends yes. thank goodness yes. it became a friendship yep. and so we still work together a lot and play together but um, she has a really cool story so I wanted to share her story with you guys um, she's told me before a little bit about like her school years and how she got to where she is today so can you just kind of share a little bit of that with them like general education was a big challenge for me and yeah. pretty much from kindergarten <laughs> to senior year I was a CDF student like underachiever, just never felt inspired, only did the, I mean, my parents would have to fight me for everything as far as homework and going to school. So um, it, it wasn't until I got to choose, which mm -hmm. was when I was 18. So yeah. pretty much I did nothing for the first 17 years of my life, <laughs> but mess around and be a dummy. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't until I found my passion that I was able to really thrive. That's and so it gave me like the drive to really aim higher than I ever even thought I was capable. So I went to I went to fit them. So yeah, person. obviously it was the best decision you ever made. Yes, I woke so up much success and yes. yeah, you you're happy now. Yes. Yeah, which yes. is so cool and so inspiring. I feel like for so many, if you haven't found your passion yet, like just I feel like stick with something you you are like interested in. And yes. then sort of follow your dreams and that's how you sort of get to where you want to be. Yeah, and talk to your friends or now that there's, you know, there's bloggers, maybe, yeah. you know, email people in the business, ask that's for, yeah, ask for advice. I mean, people email me daily. I can't get to everyone, mm -hmm. but I try and help people even if it's yeah. just two sentences. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's just a there's no excuse mm -hmm. for not being able to connect with people now, which right. I didn't have before. So I would definitely say to you guys out there, utilize like the fact that all these big people who are um, who you look up to aren't that hard to get a hold of, yeah. and and give it a try. Shoot them an email, maybe a couple times. You never know. Yeah, you have so many things on your plate right now. I feel like can you just kind of give us a little glimpse into what your week is like? Uh, so I'm a wardrobe stylist, uh -huh. celebrity specifically, and advertising wardrobe stylist, and then I'm uh, on camera style expert personality so I do segments for you know E! News, mm -hmm. Good Day LA, I mean I'm on Extra next week, mm -hmm. uh, Today Show, Good Morning America was last week so Crazy. that really consumes my life yeah. because I have to style all the models for it, a lot of times pitch the segments, deal with making my producers happy, my designers happy, <laughs> um, and then oh and I'm also a YouTube uh, YouTuber now, oh so I'm, uh, yeah, I produce creative content. So I have a channel called Lindsay's Latest, Yay. and I produce one. Well, I upload one video, and I do a vlog every week. So that's now two videos. I don't know how week. you do that all. Like well, that makes me tired just thinking about it. I mean, well, you know, I can't do it all myself. It's yeah. great. I have a lot of help. I have a shooter. I have an editor. So because you really can't do it all. Yeah. So I have a lot of people that help make the Lindsay world go round. So that's so good. <laughs> um, in the world of celebrity styling, I feel like mm -hmm. that's such like an untapped industry. We don't know a lot about it. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us any fun or crazy story that you've had? So I'm, my career is I'm a 12 year wardrobe stylist. Like so that's nuts. why I can say I'm a style expert because I truly have styled <laughs> everyone from itty bitty Lara Flynn Boyle to like Biggest Loser contestants before they have lost the weight. Wow. So there is crazy things that have happened. I mean, I could I could write a book and that may be my next book. No, just kidding. I yes. There'd be a lot of lawsuits. Please do. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I want to know all the stories. Uh, a few crazy things that have happened. I mean, I've had celebrity, big celebrity clientele um, shave their bikini line in front of me, and you know, with with no, you know, no shame at all. Oh, you know, just so like Lindsay. Uh, you know, come in here, and we're talking about what she's gonna wear, and she's shaving, and, and no underwear on. Oh my god. So that's I'm... happened. I mean, I've been grabbed. I've I've spent. I've sat on the doorstep of Bloomingdale's in New York City. December in the snow, 
crying waiting for it to open because uh, a finale outfit that we were supposed to wear in three hours uh, busted and I had to find a new outfit. Yeah, and this was when I was younger so I just cried about everything, but now <laughs> it all it all gets done. You so. let it just roll up for yes, sure. Yes, <laughs> I do. Well, I try. I just manage my stress a lot better. So that comes with experience. One last thing. Um, I, I want to know one piece of advice you would give someone trying to be a stylist or to get into the industry that you were in. I would suggest, and this is exactly, I mean, I tell people all the time, I, I became whatever it is who I am right now um, because of good old fashioned hard work and tenacity. I mean, that's it. Like, I'm not like, I'm so cool and stylish. That's how I, <laughs> that is not how I got to, I mean, that's a part of it. It's not all. So I would tell everyone out there just to seize every single opportunity mm -hmm. within the realm of what you want to do regardless of pay. Mm -hmm. I know that's really hard, yeah. but now with, you know, stylists, bloggers, fashion people being so exposed to the media, now mm -hmm. everyone wants to be a part of this world. Mm -hmm. So if you're really like down for the passion and you really want to succeed, mm -hmm. you're going to have to maybe sacrifice a little bit more yeah. than the other. So, yeah. and it will get you somewhere. I mean, I worked for free for three years and slanged food on the side and you know, it's just what I had to do. And you know, that's what set me apart from the other people who are like, oh, it's free. Mm, no, it's like they right. are probably still at that waitressing job. So, <laughs> okay, so we're doing the quick fire round right now, which is really fun. So okay. get ready. You're going to be put on the spot. All right. I love it. <laughs> that's what I live for. <laughs> okay. Woo. Preppy or boho? Uh, a mix. Really? I can't say either okay. or. Sand or snow? Oh, sand all the way. I mean, yeah. 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 Snow is not a vacation to me. I'm nope. like, no way. <laughs> Suffering. Favorite food? Ugh, Greek. Yum. Mediterranean. Ooh, yum. Absolutely. We went to Mediterranean. I knew yes. you liked that. Okay. Heels or flats? My heart says heels, my head says flats. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best question. Ryan Gosling or David Beckham? That is not the best question because I like tan men. Have okay, you so who's husband? your dream guy? You have to tell if me. If I had to pick between those two, obviously I feel like David Beckham has a little bit more swagger. Okay, well, Ryan Gosling is really? my choice, but hey, you uh -huh. know, that's what makes the world go around. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to compete for men. That was We're good. both married, so that would be creepy good. anyways. No, but. not at all. <laughs> thank you so much oh, for thank being you. here and doing this and having us in your cool of studio course, and course, sharing your story great. with you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye! Bye. Bye.